Hey everyone, this is James Bernard. And today I wanted to show you something that's really fun and interesting that you can do when using the Alias 8 CV rack extension from Path. So what I've got set up here is the Alias 8 is a controller for a sort of live beat repeat stutter selector where you can use any audio signal. In this case, I'm using actual audio from external analog equipment. I'm using a TR-606 and a TB-303. And what I'm doing is just feeding live audio into Reason and taking that audio and routing it to a couple of different places. I'm using both the buffer and director rack extensions to enable me to switch between a signal that has the effect applied or the original signal very quickly and also using uh, the controls of the Alias 8, I'm able to do some really fun real-time performance techniques. You can see a little bit of how I've set this up here in the patch. So when you flip it around, I'm using the control voltage outputs of the Alias 8 connected to some inputs here, the rotaries, the pitch mod wheel, and the CV inputs on the back. And using those, I've assigned those within the combinator to change certain things about the setup. So for example, you can see I've got the director and what's feeding the director is a split output of both the original signal coming in and also the output out of the buffer rack extension. So by pushing a button on the alias eight, you go from either the input, which is the unaffected input to the affected input, which is going to be what's coming out of buffer. I've also made it possible so that you can turn channels on or off using the mixer. So I've got these two buttons here, which are assigned to the levels. And so they'll basically just turn a channel on or off. And then these sliders and knobs control different things. The pitch knobs that you see here at the top are changing as if you would change the pitch bend or pitch of the sound. And then the slider here is changing the length amount. And I also have these knobs right here controlling a bit crusher effect, which is basically just enabling the mod wheel right here. So it's a pretty fun little patch, and you're gonna be able to download this and try this out on your own recordings and or performances or patches. And you do need to have all three of these rack extensions, alias eight, buffer, and director, in order for this patch to function properly. But once you do have all of that, it's pretty simple. You can either have a live audio input coming into channel A or B, A and B here, or you can even have some devices or audio outputs of any device in your reason rack also feed the patch. And here's a little video performance where I'm using this patch live and you can see how it looks and how it sounds. Thank you. 